both know a lot about what is happening here. They're next. He lied to his users, he lied to his investors, he lied to his employees, and he also lied to regulators all around the world, including politicians in the U.S. Along with Robert Wolf, former CEO of UBS Americas, former economic advisor to President Obama, and a Fox News contributor who was also involved in the aftermath of the Enron collapse. So, um, Robert, is this bigger and worse than that? Well, uh, we've talked for many, many yeah, times. Exchange, um, who was trying to help FTX at one point to stay afloat. And that's one of the interesting things about the story, how they were all kind of trying to help each other yeah. stay afloat at different times. But then he said, no, we're out, when he when he got a luck. Well, here's what happened is that uh, this bankruptcy from FTX really started when CZ, the Binance founder, richest man in crypto, had him on on Fox Business this morning, when he started selling about a half a billion dollars worth of FTX's tokens. Yeah. We'll take a look and then get, you know, get back to you on the the other side. Yep. Watch this. As soon as we discovered that he actually moved user funds without disclosing that, and basically he was lying to everyone, um, I said, look, this guy is probably going to be in a lot of trouble, most likely going to jail. Um, I couldn't trust the data in the data room anymore. The guy has no more to lose. He's probably already in a bad position, and he, could, he will do anything to lie to get our money in. And so at, the, at that point, I couldn't trust any data in the data room. Yeah, I guess, you know, the questions now that arise are about these other companies. Are they done very differently than FTX? Do we know? That's a great question. <laughs> and I think you're seeing that Coinbase, which is the biggest U.S. crypto exchange, that stock has been depressed after this FTX collapse. And you have to remember CZ, Binance's CEO, he, with SBF, Sam Bankman fried of FTX, it's like Godzilla versus King Kong between the two, according to Michael Lewis, who was at the FTX Bahamas event. So the fact that FTX, Sam Bankman fried reached out to his biggest enemy, his frenemy, if you want to call him that, CZ, to help us out, buy us out. That was a big red flag that FTX was in trouble just about a week and a half ago. But I'll tell you this, you know, I was at the FTX Bahamas event. I was hosting a panel on stable coins. Everybody was there, Michael Lewis, you had uh, Tony Blair, Bill Clinton. Everybody felt that this was the new asset class. This was going to be the future of finance. We can't miss out on it. And it was kind of an anointing of a new king in Sam Bankman fried Real quick, if you can, Robert. But you know, they keep making the p comparison to other regular regulatory financial transactions. You know, these things happen, right? You know, th these things happen. Do you agree? Uh, these should have been regulated. No, they don't happen. We don't have that many bankruptcies of 50 plus billion. Yes, you do. Enron was 60 billion. We, uh, we don't have many. We <laughs> had only made a off of 60 billion. I've as been well. 40 years in the business, 40 years. We've only had a few. Yeah. We've only had two north of 50 billion. Enron and, and Madoff. Lehman wasn't. Well, what's going to happen to SBF and, you know, whether or not they're going to get him back from the Bahamas? You know, he's, I would imagine he would be considered a flea risk yeah, uh, at this point. Yeah, hearings next month, and yeah. the Binance CEO says he's not going. And you're going to hit the celebrity stuff pretty soon because yeah. that's real. Uh, yes, we've already <laughs> seen Kim Kardashian pay a million dollars for a similar situation. So we're going to have you back next time on that, thank Susan you. and Robert. Thank you. Great to see you both. So breaking.